very windy afternoon or early evening I guess it is now eight o'clock group of my heifers these are all Nolan Ryan bred heifers though they come from Ryan Ranch Ryan Beef Masters these heifers are big body stout they weigh 11 bred to R.A. Brown Ranch Angus Bulls just deep boggy bodied soggy made just Really the cow making kind. <clears throat> Obviously, you all know who Nolan Ryan is. Great on the baseball mound. Marketing tender age beef. Developing a tremendous herd of beef masters. Obviously putting together a great baseball team in Texas Rangers. So it's a wearing this <clears throat> in our brand is a, a show of excellence, of, of genetics, of hard work, and like in every endeavor Mr. Ryan does. Tremendous group of 23 heifers. I mean, they're so uniform, so deep ribbed, so practical. I mean, every there's not, I'm just videoing, there's 23 heifers here. They're all cookie cutters. All got tons of rib shape, body natural thickness, just really cow making. We see these kind, you know, hey, she doesn't wean off a 650 pound plus calf. Very low maintenance, just breed back. Look at the flesh on these females, just just the depth of rib. Not fat, but just in good practical flesh. All the other heifers are walking off, turn it. I'll get over there and head them off with the full winner, but uh, they're all just the same type of heifer. Just tons of rib, just functional, broody, broody, broody. It's really some great cow making kind. Again, there are heifers, they're six to eight months bred, beautiful heifers. Until the sun's going down. It's... I really like these heifers. Obviously, people watching my videos don't mark a lot of prey fruits and all that kind of brangus. And boy, I tell you what, these girls, the right kind of bull, whoo, you'll be able to beat these girls. Okay, so every one of these heifers, not real tall in length. They're... Predictable beef mass genetics, functional beef mass genetics. Again, the, when these girls grow up, they're not getting much taller, but they'll probably weigh about 12, 50, 1300 pound cows. They will just be whew, truly the front pasture cow. They weigh 11 today, don't they? Damn sure close to it anyway. Six to eight months bred, bred to Ari Brown, Angus Bulls. You know what uh, Mr. Brown's doing up there in, in a hole? I guess Mr. Brown, he's in the panhandle. Good, powerful ranching genetics. Actually, I think Ari went Vernon, somewhere up there, near Vernon, not really paying up, but near Vernon, I can't remember down, got three, anyway, he's somewhere up there, <laughs> sorry Mr. Brown, Donald, uh, sorry about that, uh, but good cattle boy, aren't they just peas in a pod, again, they're, they're Nolan Ryan bred off Mr. Ryan's ranch in R.A. Brown, Angus Genexi, two of the best ranches in Texas in the prospective breeds. These are tremendous females. In general, woo, I probably shouldn't sell them. If any of y'all club calf guys, I don't know y'all, a lot of guys raise those American shows here, watch this, y'all need to be calling me. Because with these type of deep ribs, soggy made, look how balanced these ladies are. Just, just every one of them is the same height. They're not going to be as tall, lanky females. They'll be chunked full of meat, tons of guts. In that slick shear deal, you put your mane or semi bull back on these cattle, put a little more expression and muscle in these cattle. Man, oh man, oh man. I mean, this is a big piece of the puzzle right here. We raised some great steers. We put a herf bull, raised and bred baldies. Uh, I like the black baldy scimitar bull, raised those females. Brangus bull, the sky's the limit on these girls. Uh, a couple of ranches I've saw this past year, Red Angus. Man, I love the Red Angus feed master cross. Oh, what you talking about? Across the fence, I do have a red, that bull sniffing him. He is Red Angus, Red Semi Cross. He would be great. I mean, an awesome com uh, bull to put on these females. He came from a, a hail semis up in the Perryton, Texas. Again, he's half red semi, half red Angus. He would definitely work great on these females. Anyway, uh, I'm Clayton Hobbs. It's getting dark. I think you see what kind of females they are. Just tons of natural rib, 
stout, fun. These kind of girls are very, very, very low maintenance. They're gonna raise the same type of calf, a chunky, deep rib, the kind of calves the feeders love. Performance-minded cattle here, boys and girls. Performance-minded, low maintenance. These ladies will make you money. You know I am, I'm Clay the Hobbit. I uh, appreciate time, time to evaluate my video and give me a call, you know where I am. Clay the Hobbit, El Campo, Texas, 979. 541 Have a blessed night. Adios. From Nolan Ryan Beatmaster, raised on his ranch, his genetics, bred to R.A. Brown, low birth weight, Angus Bulls. Babies knocking out the door, they're in awesome flesh. It's really some cow makers here, boys and girls, really some cow makers. There's not a hole in this group, guys, there's not a hole. They're all just cookie cutter good, aren't they? Cookie cutter good in. sell lots of cattle that I talk about and explain, but these cows sell themselves, guys. I, I, I shut my mouth and show you the cattle. They're good cattle. I'm trying to show you every one. So you don't, maybe in Florida, maybe in Kansas, maybe in um, California, Louisiana. Y'all don't have to come here to Del High. Here they are. They're right here. Beatmasters, they don't get the they don't get the run that the Rayfords do. I really don't know why, because they're not tiger fan. But in the day, the right kind of bull, I'll put these against F1 Rayford cattle any day of the week. And again, I sell, I sold 300 Rayfords the past 10 days. I'll put these against any, a good beef master cattle on the right kind of bull against any F1 Rayford. In my opinion. Again, there's a couple, there's one ranch saw a month ago. So also beef master red against cross cows. Oh my gosh, they're awesome. And gently, these cattle are gentle, aren't they? Just jumped in the mule. It's getting dark. Got right amongst them. Video these 23 big bodied, functional beef master cattle. Thanks, time evaluating the video. Always like feedback. If you think I'm doing a good job or if they're doing a terrible job, please call me. Let's talk. But I do appreciate you taking the time to evaluate my cattle. Have a blessed day.